Hello, this video is going to be about the projection of one vector, we'll call it u, onto another vector, we'll call that v. And here's the formula. The formula you just have to remember, um, v, right, is the, is the direction in which we're moving, and that is going to be the denominator, the magnitude squared, and then this vector here. But first, let's talk about what we mean by a projection. We're putting our vectors in standard position, and here's u and here's v. Now, you want to think about v. The arrows are here, all right? Imagine the arrows are here and here, all right, for our two vectors. In this particular case, we're pushing along v, and if I go here, we're pulling this in this direction, okay? So let's bring this back here and let me show what I mean by a projection, okay? So this dotted line right here is the projection of U onto V. Imagine the sun is directly overhead and it's casting a shadow. I hope you would agree that the projection of U onto V would be this shadow, this vertical, excuse me, this horizontal component. And of course, there's a vertical component as well. As I said, in this case, imagine the arrow of the vector is here. We're pushing, all right, in the direction of V. If I'm over here, notice how the projection of V gets smaller. And in this case, all right, again, you can't really see the dotted line, but here, imagine I'm pulling in the opposite direction. So in this case, the projection of V is going to be in the negative direction. Okay, so let's go back here and see how we can calculate this. Okay, let's do our dot product here. And remember, dot product, we take the X's, we take the product of the y's and we add them. So in this case, we have a dot product of 50. All right, no problem. So that means our projection is 50 divided by the magnitude of this, of v. And the magnitude of v, I hope you can see, is going to be 10. Right? 10 squared plus 0 squared is 100, which is 10. So the magnitude, and you can see that right here, the magnitude is 10. Notice in the formula we're squaring that, correct? And I hope you will see that the projection should be 5, 0. All right, let's see what we get here. Okay, I hope you also agree that this is going to be 1 half. 50 divided by 100 is 1 half. This is a scalar. Remember, the dot product is a scalar. So our projection of u onto v is going to be 5, 0. And that you can easily see here, 5, 0. We can easily find the vertical, and we can see that it's going to be 0, 2. Okay? Now that's an easy one. Okay? Let's try a more difficult one. Let's imagine we're pushing something up a ramp, okay? And we can see again that this is our projection of U onto V, all right? And let's think about that, all right? So as I set this up, I can see that U is 5, 4 as our vector, V is 9, 2. We can find the magnitude of V, 9 squared plus 4 squared is 85, it's a square root. Again, we find our dot product, multiply our x's, multiply our y's. We get a dot product of 53. We plug everything into the formula and we get 5.61, which makes sense, that's about 5.61, and y is 1.25, all right? So I hope that helps on uh, how we can use this formula to find the projection of one vector onto another vector. Thanks for watching.